Hello and welcome again. This is Vishnu Mahali, and in this video, I'm going to move my site from WPX Hosting to Rocket.net. As you can see, bloggershop.com is currently hosted on WPX Hosting, and this is my migrated site. By the way, the migration process was done for free by the Rocket.net team, which is amazing. As you can see, the copies or the migrated site over here on their temporary domain. This is the dashboard of Rocket.net. By the way, I'm doing it for the first time as well, so please ignore if. I'll do uh, a little bit of mistake. Mm, so here you can create your staging and this is the button I'll need to click. I guess ready to go live. Okay, now I'll uh, enter my domain and click continue. And now I'll have to update some DNS setting, etc. By the way, this is the rocket.net domain, temporary domain. Okay, so first I'll have to configure SSL by modifying some DNS settings over here. Uh, these are the de details that I'll have to put in my DNS settings. So let's go to Namecheap as my domain uh, is listed on Namecheap. I bought it from here. So I'll go to my dashboard over here. Let's find my domain. Okay. As you can see, it is currently pointing to the name servers of WBX hosting. I'll have to change that. Uh, so let's, you can select Namecheap Basic DNS if you are modifying on uh, Namecheap and then save it. Uh, you'll be able to manage your DNS settings by uh, going to Advanced uh, DNS Settings option that you see over here. So once your setting is saved, Namecheap Basic DNS as Namecheap Basic DNS, go to Advanced DNS option here. And then you'll be able to add DNS records over here. So it's easy, right? Uh, in my case, I'll be using Cloudflare. By the way, Rocket.net already comes with the, all the features of Cloudflare. So use it only for DNS management and nothing else. So I'll be using it for DNS management only, as you can see. So these are the records. Uh, this is G Suite records, by the way, Google Workspace. I highly recommend it to use uh, if you want to build your email, branded email. Uh, these are the IPs of my uh, WX server, as you can see here. I'll need to modify that, I guess. Uh, now, these are the name servers of Cloudflare that I'll be putting uh, here on Namecheap by selecting custom DNS. Okay, these are the name servers of Cloudflare and I'll save it. Uh, my work here is done and now I'll click done check name server. And as I said, I'll only be using Cloudflare for DNS, so this setting doesn't matter that much. And I'll have to wait a little bit, but I'll, I can already modi modify the DNS settings over here. So let's do that. Okay, so I'll have to create these TXT records, which is easy to do, by the way. Select TXT on the type and then paste. As uh, You won't have any issue. The instructions are very, very, very clear. So I don't think you, you will face any issues uh, to do that. So I'll just copy paste the details as provided. And this is one more record that I need to paste here. Okay, done. Right, uh, I have added text records, continue, okay. So the SSL uh, text records for SSL is done. Now I'll have to update the main DNS to point my domain to rocket.net server. So, by the way, I did some mistake here. Uh, so I'll just let you know what I did. Uh, as you can see, it says that you will have to put Apex record, but uh, on Cloudflare, it, it, you, you won't find something called Apex record uh, if you use the drop-down type, basically. So you'll have to add as a, add it as a C name, but before that, you need to uh, delete all the A, uh, A record and C name records. So I didn't do that and that's why this issue is occurring. So first of all, delete your A record and C name record if you have, and then you can uh, select C name and then paste your rocket.net temporary domain here, and then it will work just fine. Let me show you. And now this time, I think I'll be doing the right way. Okay, this is my A record that I'll have to delete. Okay, I'm deleting this record as I said. And now it will work fine as you can see. Let's save it and it should work. And as you can see, I'm only using it for DNS Cloudflare. By the way, 
this is because uh, cloud on cloudflare it's called cname flattering not apex record so that was the issue that's why I, I was having some issues it's called cname flattering on cloudflare it's not apex so okay done and i have updated as you can see dns has been successfully configured and your site is now live by the way the live site will be uh, available once the name servers are and dns settings are uh, configured on all the internet and stuff so it takes a little bit of time but it will be done currently i don't think it, it will be loading from rocket.net immediately but it will happen soon i've done my part of the work so it's done and this is the interface by the way i'll make some more videos about rocket.net soon and stick to this channel for that please subscribe so that you don't miss those videos currently it has very few options and features over here but i think over time it will grow and by the way i'm happy with all the settings it already has because i don't do much uh, on my hosting service so it's okay for me i don't have any issues and uh, oh, by the way rocket.net doesn't provide you email services if you didn't know that so yeah this is the performance from my uh double base hosting this is not the rocket.net version as you can see rocket.net i had it tested it, it's uh very very good i'll show you that in some other video someday for now subscribe to the channel and thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like please thank you so much